Hello, I'm Dr. Philip McCarthy. I work at Russell Park Cancer Institute. I'm director of the Blood and Marrow Transplant Program. I have particular research interest in multiple myeloma, um, a, a complication of transplant called acute uh, graft versus host disease as well as chronic graft versus host disease. And I'm very interested in ways of developing better strategies for treating patients with blood and marrow transplant. The multiple myeloma research that I do uh, pertains to strategies for prolonging patients' response to therapy. Uh, we uh, led a large trial through the Cancer and Leukemia Group B, which is now called the Alliance for Clinical Trials in Oncology, or the short term is the Alliance. And we are um, continuing to analyze that data, which showed that Maintenance therapy with lenalidomide after single autologous transplant prolonged time to progression, and most importantly, it uh, improved overall survival. We are building upon this previous research in that we have uh, two interesting studies that involve transplantation for multiple myeloma patients. One of them is a three-arm study. It'll be a 750-patient study. Uh, it's a nationwide uh, cooperative group study and there'll be three uh, arms. One a group of patients gets induction therapy followed by a single autologous transplant. Uh, the second arm are patients who get a tandem transplant back to back within 60 days. And the third arm are patients who receive a single autologous transplant followed by consolidation with lenalidomide, bortezomib, and dexamethasone for four cycles. All three of these arms are followed by three years of maintenance therapy with lenalidomide. Uh, building upon that previous study that we showed a, a survival benefit as well as a progression benefit. So this is one uh, clinical trial that we were very interested in for patients who are transplant eligible. Uh, we are also the reference laboratory for the minimal residual disease correlative sciences portion of this study. Paul Wallace, who's the director of the flow cytometric lab, is analyzing marrow samples from these patients. And we're looking to see whether or not patients who attain minimal residual disease state, in other words, they have no detectable disease by flow cytometry, we wish to see whether or not this will correlate with long-term survival. There are other groups that have shown this, but we want to confirm this and also develop a new panel for measuring uh, MRD uh, because we think this will provide better uh, information that can be standardized across all different uh, transplant centers as well as in clinical practice. What we hope to learn from the three-arm clinical trial is whether or not a single transplant followed by maintenance therapy is adequate for long-term disease control in multiple myeloma. There's some data that suggests a tandem transplant might be better in patients who don't have a good response, but this is data that's over 10 years old. And this is before the development of novel agents such as the proteasome inhibitors as well as the immunomodulatory drugs. So we think this is still a very important question. The Europeans have done a lot of work on consolidation after single auto transplant, and they feel that this is better in terms of outcome uh, as manifested by disease progression. We also want to confirm this and also extend on, on this using a different consolidation treatment. So these are important questions for long-term uh, control of multiple myeloma. We're not yet at the point where we can say we're, we're developing strategies for cure, but we think this is one step in the road to someday curing multiple myeloma patients. Patients who are eligible for this trial are those who would be considered transplant eligible. And these are patients up to the years, uh, 70 years of age, who are in good uh, physical state. So now there's patients with severe organ toxicity, such as emphysema, poor cardiac function, may not be eligible, but we do screen these patients to see. And these are all patients who have multiple myeloma who also require therapy. In other words, they fulfill CRAB criteria. They have hypercalcemia, renal insufficiency, profoundly anemic, or they have bone disease. And these are the patients who are initiated on any type of induction therapy, uh, and then who are thought to be reasonable transplant candidates, we will screen them and see if they'd be eligible uh, for this trial and then offer this trial to them. 